Hey, what's going on you guys? I am at like the legendary Snook Nook. This is a uh, bait and tackle shop up here in Jensen Beach. If you've ever fished inshore in Florida, what's going on you guys? You would know about the Snook Nook. Um, I've not been here in probably 20 years. My brother is taking me sheep's head fishing today and we're gonna do a catch, clean, and cook. Hang on y'all. colder than yeah than it we was think it is I wasn't expecting it to be chilly like this and I also didn't expect us to go on like a cross-country run what does that motor burn running up here like that we were just running 38 miles an hour getting 3.1 miles to a gallon three miles to a gallon is good no matter who you are keep the rod tip down don't pull your rod tip up. Have you ever caught one of these before? I caught like a thousand of them. Ooh! This guy's healing it. Golly! Ooh, monster! Dude, are you kidding me? This is nuts! Now you know what I caught last yeah. time. <laughs> that is a gigantor! Jake, pay attention to your rod. Whoa! My goodness. You had another bump? Oh, well, real. Show us what you got. <coughs> this thing is massive. It's massive? <coughs> Whatever it is. Oh my gosh. I feel like I. Pick that rod up. That's a witch doctor rod. It's strong. Reel down. Reel down. We're just sloppy men there on the deck. Nice. So what I like to do is I like to hook that bait so that the jig runs down. The jig's going to sit on the bottom like that. And I want that, that bait to sit just like that so the fish comes down and eats them. But when you do that, especially with like a, a sheep's head, you got to give it to him so he gets the whole thing in his mouth. They're not like a, like a snook or a jack that's gonna eat it and just take off with it. They're gonna swim up to it, bite it, and pretty much hang out right there or just move just a little bit. Come on, come on. Why well, aren't they really like biting? That's my, that's, there is. Nice fish. This is the exact same rod and reel, same uh, leader, only thing I changed is the jig. That's why when you buy versatile rods, you should be able to do a variety of different things with them. Jake, what are you bowing up on? Did you turn more fish of us? That right there was a serious fish sandwich for tomorrow. <laughs> These Engel Live bait boxes are so nice because you can pull the whole basket out and pick out which shrimp you want without banging them all up. Then you just set this right back in there. So you take your shrimp, make sure he's alive, and you want right here at this first joint just to go in right in the middle and come right up through the top. That's what you're looking for. It's March 15th. The weather could not possibly, oh, dude, I just got nailed. Why aren't we turkey hunting exactly? We should be, tomorrow we ought to go turkey hunting. Some of us gotta work tomorrow. That's about a perfect size. What are you doing? He set the hook so hard he broke the line. <laughs> Here, here you go. Got him. 
like nice fish. Jake, scoot your rod out of his way. He's trying to catch one. This is a nice fish. Only using 15 pound. No, this is 20 pound liter. I'm sorry. This fish is not happy. Bring him around here. Mm. What the Ooh, heck? That's a keeper there, y'all. You got him or you hung in the bottom, Jake? I got it. I, I throw some down. Nothing pulls harder than that. I'm glad that bird didn't just poop on us like that. Oh. Stand up straight. There you go. Use the oh. rod for what it is. <laughs> Good. Bring him over here and I'll help you. Right in the corner of the mouth. Circle hooks are the best for kids. They don't have to set the hook. Golly, I'm horrible today at this. You know what else circle hooks are good for? What? Catch and release. Because you don't hook the fish in the guts. All right, you guys, so uh, Captain Gabriel Arrington here has informed the crew that we are over catching sheep's head. Now, we're gonna go over here and throw some top water, see if we can't catch a snook, trout, redfish, ladyfish, tarpon, or a good old jack. Dude, this is freaking epic. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That's a catfish doing that. That was a catfish. <laughs> I know that, but that's what was just eating mine was a catfish. Look at this, look at this. Shark, oh my gosh. Did you see, get that? I, I was zoomed in on your, on your bait. A big bull shark or something. Some kind of shark, big shark. It doesn't get any better than that. Oh my God! What do you got? It just pulled out the whole pole under the water. What in the world? Oh, I got a catfish! I, I got a catfish! You got a catfish? Gabe, you got a pretty serious fish back here, dude. We are so 100% incredibly blessed to be a part of this. <laughs> Little Shimano music for you guys. I'm putting heat on him too. It's not like I'm letting him do this. You can't pull on him any harder than I am. <laughs> Gosh! Don't net him for your little brother or anything. What? what a fish, man. That's a battle. 
Jake, go get me the pliers, quick. It sounds like it's passing it. Someone's in the pliers. Oh, you're up. My arm hurts. All right, you guys, this has been an absolutely extraordinary afternoon. Oh, look at the fish. That's that catfish, Gabe. Got him. That's a catfish, dude. I'm telling you right now, that was a sail cat. Is that the one I caught? Yep. I got the whole entire bite zoomed in. <laughs> I barely got him off. I was just trying to say we were going to go back to the house and that's the first catfish I've ever seen caught in my life on a topwater plug. Also, I was going to get famous And he's huge. I would have never believed that in a million years. Look at this, sail cat. I knew that's what it was. Wait, I think that's the same one I already caught. Oh, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Dad, I think that's come the here. same one I already caught. Wait. Whoa. Whoa. That is a big one, too. That's called a gaff top sail cat. Wait, is that Un the same one? Unbelievable. That's awesome fish. That's all she wrote for this afternoon. Epic day. If you want to see more of Gabe, and Jake on deer meat for dinner. Leave it in the comment below. Hey, you guys, so check that out. There's that sheep's head. We got a bunch of them from yesterday, but that's about the average size. And mama is not feeling good whatsoever. So I'm gonna clean them real quick. These fish have extremely tough scales which is helpful because they live around bridges and pylons where there's tons of current and certainly they probably get banged into the bridge every now and then. Look how nice and white that meat is. Mm. I always like to take that fish, turn them around so then you're pulling the knife to you and just follow it right there. Delay. Perfect. If you have an old rag or something, it makes it really easy when you put that on top of the cooler. It keeps everything from sliding around. Place. Nice fish. Then you just take your knife. Nearly every fish out there will have a set of pin bones. Our neighbors are like, well, there's Rob and Sarah filming in the front yard again. Look how pretty that fish is. All right, well, we are in the kitchen. I've just got some fresh spinach steamed down and a little citrus with butter and white wine. But this is why I'm here. I want to do a 
ma oh, I was almost gonna say mahi piccata. Sheep's head. That's that sheep's head filet. We're gonna season it very simply with a little Everglades fish and chicken. Take your fish, roll it in flour. You wanna get it nice and dredged on both sides. Get your pan nice and hot. Add a pallet of, of butter. That's about the proper amount of butter. Take your fish. Mm, look at that. Beautiful. Let that start cooking. While that happens, we're gonna add some sliced up green onion. Scallion. Mm -hmm. Scallion, green onion, same thing. Then we'll add some capers. Then we're going to add a couple lemon slices. Now, a little white wine. We want that to start reducing down, reducing down. That is actually a sour orange. It's not a lemon or a lime. Mm. And see how everything's reduced down now? Add in about that much butter. And we're gonna start making our sauce. I just wanna to continue to stir this. Very, very simple. We're gonna take our spinach, put it right in the middle of the plate. Take your orange, just lay your orange right over there. Just a little feel good. Take your sauce. Voila. That right there is sheep's head piccata for my beautiful wife. Okay, honey, time for you to eat. My favorite dish. At Ale House, which we always go, is mahi piccata. Mm. And I would say that's better than it. That's really good. The fish is firm. Mm. That's really good. And the spinach is on point. I really haven't eaten anything except salt and crackers last night. And this is a really good first starter meal. Mm. This, I'm not even kidding, this is my favorite million name. <laughs> I'm not joking. It helps that she's very, very hungry, you guys. But. No, I'm not joking. Like, out of all the dishes, I would say try. This is up in the top one. <laughs> yeah, and you could do that. You could even do like oh venison piccata, you could do pork piccata, veal, chicken, just substitute the protein. We use sheep's head, but you could use whatever you want with it. So I like the flakiness of the fish though. Cool. It's well, light. Yeah. So anyway, you guys, thank you so much for being a part of our lives. We oh, love you guys. Wait, people are, wait, people are going to wonder why you're not eating. Okay. Emma's sleeping and he wanted me to have a meal by myself for the first time in probably six months. So that's why he's not eating right now. He's going to cook himself some. But anyway, subscribe, check out our website, dearmeatfordinner.com. We got new shirts, a lot of fun stuff happening right now. And leave a comment below. We'll see you next time. And we gone.